Hello everyone, I'm T-Roller from the Austrian guys with a new let's play of Alan Wake. In the last episode I had like 50 jump scares or something and it, yeah, everything got me like crazy. I don't know why, I just think I'm not used to that game anymore. But now we're having cut the, that's not English, having cut the power to the transformer yard. Wake can now use Weaver's secret passage into the well lit room. Yeah, yeah. And get back Alice and hopefully finish this game because it scares the hell out of me. Man, it's super bright in here, lady. This way, young man. Follow me. Okay. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. But I have to pick up something. Or not. This way. We need to go. Yes. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. <laughs> such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then Tom started writing and and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. <sighs> he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. No, oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. You Tom liked it. Knew how I felt. I knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. And none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. I she curse you, Thomas Sane! How do you know all this? Tom, that's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with the light, but the I've been molested by the darkness. Feels kind of good. Should I please turn it up? This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! Her sweet love! Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. What just happened? You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! There's nothing about being selfish right there. I wanna save my friend. Oh shit, well, no. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Don't jump like that. At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Oh! You've got nothing on me, freaking crows! Oh, don't, no, don't jump down right down there. We've had enough of that. We've had enough deaths in the in the last episodes. I don't need some of that. I just passed the light, you stupid idiots! Would you please wait? Oh no! Crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Barry! Okay. Barry! Holy! Oh, Over here! You're oh, missing. Cool! 
<laughs> oh man! Aren't you good, didn't I? Ellen Wake saves the day. Headshot. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. First of all, I have to follow the seaman. Probably for the last time. Reach the top of the dam. Damn, girl, what you doing down here? Landed in uh, Night Springs. <laughs> He's so full of himself. God damn it. Oh, this is a bad idea. I know we're gonna regret this. Oh, should have. I should have kept that gym membership. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. First of all, you're gonna have to take down 50 guys. In order to reach the... Yeah, you know what. What the hell is that thing? It's everywhere! Okay, okay, it's time to throw a flare, my friend. Well, why should I do something? Okay, now get him. Get this bastard. Oh, yeah! In your face. Was that it? Are we safe? That was. Wow. I think we're okay. Well, I would say we're okay. Hey, Al, I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. Well, at least you've got a feeling. Oh, ho, 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 sweet pool of light. Huh. Wait, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. Call the amber lamps. Oh, how did you hit me? Direct hit, mum fucker! Love the epic slow mo. Oh! Whoopsie daisy. There he goes. God damn it. God dang it. What's that? What kind of elevator is that, huh? What is that? TV? No. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. Where is the elevator music if you need it? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Let's be careful, okay? No. Oh, jeez, I hate this. Why didn't we just take the stairs? It's quiet. 
Okay, Wake. There's a button over there that opens the door. Too quiet. Way too quiet. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. What? You serious? It's a trap! You're taking good care of Barry. What is that? I have got no flare gun. That's ridiculous. It's not good at all. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's good. You're stuck. Look who's stuck in here, huh? Oh, so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh no. Boy. Oh, there's light. Get in there. Get in there. <sighs> oh, no. oh no, he put out all the lights. That's not good. Whoever it was. What the hell is that? Stop owning me like that. I'm the one who owns. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yes, very interesting, my sir. Ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Use that thing. In your face. Hey, cool, that searchlight is awesome. Well, that's ridiculously easy with that thing. Headshot! You're angry about that, huh? Uh oh. You will go no further. Oh no. I should probably go away. I think so. I should probably run. Okay. Okay. Okay, run, Ellen! Run! Oh no! Ah -ha! That's not fun at all! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh no, that's not the right time to be tired, Ellen. Oh no! That is bad. That is really bad. That is so bad. Come on. Okay, but there's enough time to pick up coffee. Yes. And now run for your life again. Oh no! Okay, it's time to jump, man. It's time to escape the darkness. Oh! That's not fun at all! Stop doing that! Oh no. Oh shit! That, that should have killed me. That should have killed me, totally. Oh, young man! I'm the young man! Yes, baby! Yes, baby! Yeah! Got you good, motherfucker! Oh my god, that was so intense! Oh my god, shut the hell up. Based 
she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Yes, they did. It's my place now. Who gives you the right to own this place, huh? She's holding that lamp like a cat or, or a child. Should I open it for you? Okay. Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because section 33 and 118 need changing soon. And I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late. And I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Awesome. Holy mother of God. I got so much goosebumps right now. It's crazy. End of episode five, my mother. Of God, that is crazy. Okay, guys, I have to unfortunately end this super mega awesome episode of Let's Play Alan Wake. Um, it's so awesome, I don't want it to end, even though I think it's going to end soon. But thanks for watching anyway. I hope you love our Let's Plays or even like or just like them. I love doing all that. Hope you also like my Evil 2DS. If you haven't watched it, links are in the description down below. I'm Tiroloff from the Austrian guys and I will see you in the next video.